All right, let's continue. Resident Evil 2 Remake, Claire A, Hardcore Difficulty. Uh, we've just passed where the demo ended, so it's going to be a fully blind uh, playthrough from now on. Uh, now, I did check upstairs in the previous part, so I know there's another spade key door there. But more importantly, there's also a puzzle statue there, and our objective is to gather three medallions. And we have the notebook from that police officer to help us out with certain puzzles in this area. And uh, it looks like it really comes down to nothing more than turning dials to specific symbols that are literally given to us in that notebook. So it's not actually even a really a puzzle. It's more about uh, finding the locations of these statues. Which is by no means a complaint, by the way. But uh, um, I know two locations, actually. But not the third one. Well, let's go for the first medallion first. Alright, first medallion. Uh, I might as well put it in place because I don't want it to take up inventory space. I mean, inventory management is definitely going to be a huge pain in the dick throughout this playthrough. Especially since the side pack from the demo was not where it was before. And we need to carry tons of ammo because the enemies are freaking yeah. tanks in this game. I haven't even found the grenade launcher yet. Uh, moreover, the weapon locker keycard was also not where it was in the demo. So, even if I knew where it was... I might not even have access to it yet. Then again, I would not waste grenade launcher ammo on regular zombies. Um, those I need to save for boss fights and possibly lickers, unless I can manage to sneak past those. I doubt it will take long uh, until we encounter the first licker in the game. And I'm not really looking forward to that. Oh, it's this area. I know this part. This is, uh, uh, this is where I fell through the floor in the demo. A red book. Okay, I have no idea what I need that for. It's not something from the original game at least. However, that can wait for later because I remember where the second statue is. Because when I fell through the floor here in the, in the demo, I panicked and got stuck in the room over there. And that's where another one of those statues was. Okay, I actually should have known better because uh, to bring up the demo again... There's no stealth kill in this game. Sneaking up on zombies with a knife is uh, really not going to be all that useful. Well, this is this is nice. I'm in the same position as before. But well, at least we can get the second medallion now. Okay, that door is still closed. And let's, not, and let's not get knocked back uh, trying to get through the door like last time. Huh, that, that went a lot cleaner than with uh, that zombie near the steam room. Although I'm not sure if... Uh, if I just... if I did something differently or if breaking limbs is a bit inconsistent in this game. Well, uh, you know, uh, another thing in the demo was that I uh, suddenly killed a zombie with a single headshot. So that would be somewhat similar, something uh, along the lines of uh, critical damage. Probably based on RNG or something. At least it's not likely to be the gun, I think. Because it would be a pretty dick move if uh, Claire's original revolver was actually more powerful than the extra two guns you get from the pre-order edition. I think it's mostly aesthetic. Uh, well, well, that's uh, that's not true actually. Uh, Claire's revolver only held uh, five shots, so that's a significant difference. But uh, well, I think there's there's not really a difference in damage output. All right, two medallions already, but I have absolutely no clue where the third statue is supposed to be. Uh, I either didn't encounter that one in the demo, or well, what's also possible is that I just don't remember seeing it. Well, the most obvious direction to go in now would be uh, the other the other spade key door in the room where we uh, found uh, the pamphlet thing before. You know, with uh, the museum reference.
Okay, so you can discard items, just not with a prompt like in the original. Not sure whether that gas station key even had a red mark, because if it didn't, I can't really imagine going back there though. I don't know, maybe I simply missed something back there? This doesn't look like a button. I've, uh, I bet we're going to need a crank to open this. Well, clearly we don't have that yet. I'm a bit hesitant to take those wooden boards along. Because they take up inventory space after all. But I guess we can somewhat safely discard those if we really need to. I mean, those items are helpful, but probably not necessary. Okay, this talks about jewels and rubies and such. Well, we know about rubies from the original, so there's probably two of those in this version as well. Ah, oh, the weapon locker card. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. But, uh, well, now I need to know where the weapon locker itself is, of course. Okay, some sort of statue. Looks like we need some sort of key item for this. Okay, could it really be that easy that it's just lying there next to the statue itself? Okay, so what did that do exactly? Ah, the red book we just found. That would make a whole lot of sense. Well, backtracking is probably going to be a large part of this game. So let's switch some stuff around. Alright, let's store the weapon locker keycard for now until we know where the locker itself is located. And take the red book with us. It even says art object, so I think that is the right item. Well, the gas station key does in fact have a red marker, so that means we can safely discard it. Well, no need for it to take up space in the item box after all. Huh? I can only take the arm back again. I guess we need to combine the arm and the, and the book. Oh yeah, you see, it's not that complicated. Alright, instead of a ruby, we get an entire scepter. Of course, now the question is, what do we need the scepter for? Yeah, it's a never-ending fetch quest in the, these type of games. Fetch quest, well, whatever, you know what I mean. Okay, probably we need to find another statue that can hold this scepter or something along those lines. Holy fuck, what the hell? Okay, let me take a guess. A helicopter just crashed. Yeah, maybe I wasn't so wrong about uh, the, uh, the C4 we found uh, earlier after all. Yep, that's up. Uh... Okay, why is it burning? What kind of a lame crash site is this? You make a modern remake and you can't even set the helicopter on fire? Well, that's a freaking downgrade. I was expecting some Michael Bay type shit this time around. Hey! 
Claire? Leon! I'll be right there! Leon, we really gotta stop meeting like this. Are you all right? Police chopper, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm fine. I take it you don't have the key. No, I don't. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? I am hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? Yeah. You find your brother? I did, actually. He's... Just me think it can't get any worse. Leon, you should get going. Don't worry about me. Just get yourself to safety. No, Leon, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please, just go. We're gonna make it. Both of us. Marvin, oh, nice. This is where the chain cutter is. Um, isn't it a bit silly, though? If Claire looked to her right a bit earlier, she could be like, uh, Oh, Leon, let me use this tool to get you through this gate, and then we can stay together for safety. Well, that would be too convenient, I guess. Okay, prediction. Next time we see Marvin, he's going to turn into a zombie. Alright, now we have a tool to cut through the chains, so now we need to backtrack to all those doors that were chained shut. Okay, we're already back here, so the first chain door is immediately over here. A lot of noise outside. Damn it, I want these ink rabbits, but I cannot fill my inventory with these. Uh, flash grenade? Well, that's new. But that doesn't matter because I cannot carry anything. Okay, this is pretty bad because there's no reason to even go to a new area if you cannot pick up anything in the first place. Oh, fuck it, there we have the valve, which I also cannot take with me. Well, I can discard something. Well, it's a waste, but I think I just have to discard my green herb. Not exactly something I would want to waste. Or maybe the gunpowder? Well, yeah. The gunpowder is better to discard, I guess. Huh. Oh, shit! Oh, that goes my life. Well, at least that opened up an inventory slot. Fucking hell! Oh, this isn't really... This really isn't going well. Only gets worse when you start panicking. Okay, this is the fuse box from the beginning. Oh, no. I think I get it. Marvin slammed the shutter down, so... This must be the way to reopen it. Yep, I'm fucking stuck. I don't have that fuse yet, and I cannot open it from this side. Well, no choice but to heal, I guess. And also, no choice but to fight, I think. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you're telling me, Claire. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. No, oh, fuck no, no. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Oh, I'm dead. Shit. Well, that was a clusterfuck. Oh, wait, wait. This is really not good. The last and only time I saved was back in that save room uh, where we got, uh, before we got the spade key. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh, my God. When do you learn that your actions have consequences? Okay. Note to self. Save the game at least a little bit more often. 
well, maybe maybe there's some sort of a checkpoint or something. Uh, I mean, said that there were no other saves, so... Uh, come on. No, I'm fucked. Uh, well, let's do all of that over again. God damn it. Okay, let's plan this out this time. Wooden board in front of the window. That leaves me with three open inventory slots. Three items to pick up. And <laughs> don't get stuck. Flash grenades were almost useless in uh, Resi 4, so let's hope they're more useful this time. But where's the other zombie that attacked me? Fuck, there are zombies banging on the door as well. Okay, first unlock this, but let's not panic this time. Ah, come on! Oh, flash grenades work like the knife. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, critical, nice. Electrical. Oh, that's that's the fuse for the shutter. All right, I have a way out this time. This is ridiculous. Sometimes headshots don't even make them flinch. They just walk through it. I think they went a bit overboard there. Hey, this is the other type of gunpowder. Alright, acid rounds. But, uh, well, <laughs> still no grenade launcher. Okay, I, you know, I actually want to check something. Well, first of all, that now open room for ammo, but... Uh, remember in the demo that I saw a locker that was taped shut? I bet you can cut it open with the knife, and I do have a knife this time. Uh, no. Maybe I... <laughs> Maybe I should stop associating tape with uh, something that you can cut, just because, well, we had to do it at first, so it's not really all that strange. Well, didn't work for the C4 either. Okay, I cannot close it, so does that mean that now zombies can come in here? Maybe I shouldn't have used the fuse after all. Okay, some inventory management again. Asset rounds away. Uh, no, I cannot take... I have to take that one. It's weird to store bullets, but I can only have uh, 60 at, uh, in one, one inventory slot. Okay, let's head for the other doors now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's, uh, there are enemies now here. Oh. That's just quick. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, now goes my final healing item already. Fucking hell. Oh, whoa. 
Why are there so many cells all of a sudden? Okay, maybe I should have used all those uh, wooden boards. Well, at least we have now access to this room. Electronic gadget? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, okay. So, what does it do? I have no idea. Uh, green herb. Okay, that's useful. Flash grenade. Okay, you know, I wasted my other one exactly when I picked it up, so that's good at least. Okay, no more need for that tool. That's a hard key. I don't have the hard key yet. Oh, you can unlock it from this side. Oh, over here. Well, back to the center area, I guess. Oh, what's this? Pray support. Okay, it doesn't look important. Hey, here's another one. Oh, this is actually addressed to Leon. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key is to access... Um, Okay. The initials of our first name, so Marvin's name and, and Leon's name, I guess. Or how many names? Yeah, oh, two two locked. Oh, oh no, the the three. Huh? What? There are three letters. Well, we have David as well. So Marvin. Uh. David and, Le and Leon, I guess? I don't know. No. There's another name here. Well, I don't really have time to do this now, to be honest. Okay, well, that didn't work. Huh? Okay, I'm really confused about that one, but you know what? I'm not going to try this puzzle with a zombie around. Okay. Oh, Marvin isn't yeah, looking hurry. great. Well, he's not a zombie yet. I said that he would be a zombie uh, by this time, but... Well, he's looking uh, pretty close to the edge, to be honest. Uh, I don't know what the electronic thing does. Well, at least I know where the valve is supposed to go. That was that uh, that steam room. Okay, can I? I can now combine a red herb with a green herb because I no longer have any other healing items. And let's save the game. Let's not make the same mistake again. The key cards. I still don't know where the where the weapon locker is supposed to be. Okay, where, did, where, where haven't I gone yet? Okay, well, let's first go to the steam room at least. So we can use the red valve. We did find flame rounds there, so maybe... Well, I, I can't really imagine that uh, the grenade launcher is there, but... Who knows? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Is blocked. God damn it. Hell is up with you? Jesus fuck, go down. I'm about to get attacked from behind. Huh, you know, come to think of it, I actually have an idea where the electronic device is supposed to go. And we're very close to it. Ah, that's what it's for. Uh, 
Okay, this is not working. So how do I detonate it? You can fit it on top of the C4, but it still doesn't work for some reason. What's up with this? It's missing a battery. Oh, fuck me. Where the hell is a battery supposed to be? Uh, okay, well, let's go this way to the, to the steam room at least. It's best to start off where you at least, where you know where you need to, to go. And just take everything as it comes. Okay, so now I have to waste more bullets on this fucker. Fuck. Okay, if he's still not dead, then uh, I don't know anymore. Right, the steam room. Mm, nothing here so far. That one is definitely going to be alive. Okay, maybe I can sneak past him. Oh. Ah, it's meant as a jump scare. Alright. Okay, we have here gunpowder. And nothing. Okay, that's great. Um, this is a new area, I think. Yeah, I haven't been here. Ooh, flame rounds. Damn it, my inventory is full again. Oh, damn it, inventory management is such a pain in the dick in this game. It's an open window or something. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, fuck, it's a liquor. It's a. Oh. Oh, whoa! No, whoa, 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 wait a minute. God fucking damn it. It's fast. Okay, oh! Okay. Well, that sucks. Okay, maybe it's uh, time to end the episode here. <laughs> Alright, so. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, check out my original Resi 2 knife-only guide. And of course, stay tuned for the next episode.